Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Oh, look at this! It is this so awesome. We got, we got. Uh, oh, oh, and you know what I did forget? Uh, we have. It is a new season, and uh, we have. Well, we have a brand new baby, and uh, yes, but Will Truda. Hi. Hi. Um, Will Truda does. The, oh, look! We there's a dialogue. Oh, I didn't even think of this. Uh, I thought <laughs> I thought a broken femur hurt a lot, but <laughs> boy, how little did I know! After experience the labor, I tell you one thing: one child is plenty. But I'll stop babbling now, and let's admire the absolute beauty of our baby boy. I can I I agree. Look at her mood; she is like overjoyed. I said he's perfect, red red bald, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> all right. So um, first of all. Uh, let's give her, uh, something. Um, uh, you know what? Let's give her a silk shawl or, a, oh man, I don't know what to give her. Like we, we've given her many coverlets over the, over time. Let's give her a silk shawl. She, we need to, uh, it's like a celebratory thing. There we go. And then she, th th nice, thank you, sweetie. Plus 11, she loved it. Excellent. So she's like super happy. Look, she's now at 89%. That had nothing to do with the shawl, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> anyways, uh, I think this is, yeah, be well, my love. Have a good day. Yes, have a good, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I like the singing. That's so nice. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to uh I'm going to I'm going to let uh <laughs> she's exhausted from having a baby. We're we're just going to let them hang out. Um we have we do have the standard little things that need to be done. Uh Baldwina is Oh! 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 <laughs> it just gets better and better. Eric's going to have a, a little brother or sister. Oh, 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 oh! That is so awesome. Is anybody else pregnant, though? I think... Wait a minute. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Nita Mira. Nita Mira's pregnant. I don't remember... She. I think she was pregnant. Well, we'll that's fine. But that's kind of cool. And Nita Mira, of course, she moved out. She's now, like, living in the other area. And, uh, yeah, she's a cook. Okay. And she's gonna... Wow, that's nice. Wow, there's so many changes. Anyways, but that's not what I... <laughs> I keep getting surprised by these things. Um, services. We have to go to the builder's hut and then set up the latest repairs. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, I need to do the hunting lodge as well. Um... Oh, yeah, you could just do FF. Okay, FF and FF. There we go. So the repairs, we're going to set up the repairs. Now, there's a looks like there's a bunch of things going on. Uh, extraction. Oh, these are probably, yeah, these are standard. Okay, that's just damage. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's all going to get repaired. It is summer. So we happen to have a whole bunch of uh, flax. Flax needs to be harvested. Look at this. We've got one big row or strip or whatever of flax over here and then we got this is flax over here and then some over here <laughs> and we got tons of flax there's flax everywhere look is over there and then up that up, up to the top there oh this is so cool so what i think we can do oh it's also harvest time okay first of all we have something important to do um, I'm gonna we're gonna ignore the traps because we're not really worried about that. Oh, and also, man, I keep forgetting there's other things we need to do. We need to look at uh, if there's any new apprentices. We have one Manamir. Manamir is a new apprentice. Now where should he appre Wow, look at Manamir's uh, default crafting skill eight. Um, we, let's bring bring up his uh, his uh, extraction just to make him more well-rounded. Um, We'll give him a nice little uh, something in extraction, just for fun. Let's see what we got here. Uh, excavation shed. Okay, so the local excavation shed could do with a, a, an apprentice. That's that's good. And then, hang on. Is there anything else? Um, oh, oh, of course, Rasmire. 
<laughs> that's that's my child. Um, I was like, oh, is there? Did somebody else have a baby? <laughs> no, it was me. Um, in game, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then, do we have anybody that has become uh, newly an adult? The answer to that is no. So we have some seventeen-year-olds that are coming up, and they will be in the next, you know, a few seasons. They will become, uh, they will become the, you know, uh, into the main workforce. But we could take a look. Actually, yeah, I think. Oh, Al Albrecht is a cook. We could probably boost him in diplomacy. Can we do? Yeah, let's do that. Let's boost him in diplomacy a little bit. Um, we want to pick one of the local uh stalls and we there we go that stall is local and we could we could put him into it there we go okay so he could boost up that now he could also we could boost up his hunting as well we have a choice uh we're, we don't have a lot of opportunity left for for increasing his skills because he's about to turn 18 um and then for i'll bear here it's a uh, you know we've got three things that are three and he's he's working on one of them. There's not much we can do there. Um, Albreda, oh, oh wow, she uh, okay. Actually, we could boost her up in production, maybe. Let's see if there's any production that she could do. Mm -hmm. Well, we have uh, the kitchens. We have a local kitchen, and she could probably be apprentice there. And that the uh, kitchen's a great place to get some experience, as far as I understand it. Uh, I think that's actually no. We should probably be a bit more thorough than that. Um, what else do we have? Three. Okay, that's a good choice. Two, three. We could move Civil War, but really the difference between two and three is pretty minor. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> that's correct. <laughs> we have two horses here because, well, you know, <laughs> two of them are now over there, and we have the the horse. The current horse of the moment is Starling here. Well, they will. I know, I know. That's fine. We're, we're Starling and I will. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We're, we'll take. Uh, we'll. I'll switch it eventually. But let's go and talk to Dad and Mom. First of all, we got to go and 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 tell Mom congratulations. And somebody had a good question. They they were wondering if um, now that you have a child. Is that uh, is that going to prompt some new dialogue options with your, your own parents, right? Are they going to be like, oh, we hear we're going to be a grand uh, uh, grandma or grandpa or something like that? That'd be kind of cool. So I think we should go and check that out. In the meantime, I am keeping an eye out for bandits. And then what what is this one we got here? Oh, it's okay. Well, I'll pick up the wine skin. Why not? Or water skin, as the case may be. And then there's a knife. Um, there's some leather. Okay. I'm not... I don't really see anything else. Oh, actually, that's fur. <laughs> it looked like... It sort of matched the ground coloring quite uh, quite thoroughly. Or furly. Oh, that was a terrible joke. See, if we go around the little bridge, then we won't... Uh, run into oh my goodness another one seriously all right all right all right we'll take a look we'll take a look i'm not seeing anything too exciting on this one though are you laughing at me <laughs> uh, made you stop <laughs> there's nothing here all right that's fine uh there is a moose off in the distance right there yeah but i don't see any more bandits Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Where are you going? <laughs> That's Manomir. Wait a minute. Oh, Manomir. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, I didn't realize. I hadn't even thought of that. Oh, for crying out loud. Manomir, I am so sorry. Manomir is, uh, oh my goodness. No, Manomir is local. He is, uh, he's part of the orchard. Um, he is, uh, uh Metarika and Frederick's, uh, uh, child. I can't believe I did that. So, okay. Now, uh, and then Debray, of course, is a sister. 
And now, and she's, I think she's married now, right? She has, uh, she's with one of the fellows back at the village. No, no, um, uh, that's a mistake. I don't really want him. I don't really have any uh, mining things that he can do there. Uh, we could put him as a, let's see, we could get uh, out of there and we could give him, we could put him in the, the, the one of the, the farm sheds at the orchard, or we could put him at the farm shed at the orchard. And then we could think about maybe having some more varied jobs at the orchard. But uh, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Are you going to turn around? All uh, right, we'll let him come back. He'll figure it out. Okay, let's go find, uh, let's go talk to mom, first of all, and congratulate her on her on the news. We heard it through the grapevine. Um, I don't know if she's aware of the, 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 the uh, management interface. But yeah, look at all the... Look at all the, the fruits that need to be gathered. Now, where is... Where is... Uh... Oh, oh, there he is. There's Osterbod. Now, Osterbod, of course, uh, if you remember correctly, he is like a... He's a super high-level guy. He's a level 10. I think he should be able to handle this whole orchard by himself. If not, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on him and make... I, I... Don't you rush me. I'm talking to Mom. Okay. All right. Mom! Hello, friend. <laughs> Hello, son. Let me take a closer look at you. Um, what's on your mind? I'm so proud looking at my boy all grown up. I'm sure you'll be a great leader and a heartbreaker too. Okay, so this is the standard stuff. Um, nothing too exciting. It's too bad. I, I, Have a good day. Well, congratulations, Mom. I, I, I just wanted to say that uh, I look forward to having a, a sibling. That's really cool. Uh, let's go talk to Dad. And let's see if he has anything to say. I, I'm starting to get the feeling that no, there isn't. But, you know, we could find out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Horses in the tavern. This is the way This is the way we roll. <laughs> Rasimir knows. He's done it many times. Hello. Hi. I, st I still can't believe you're all grown up. Yeah, but did you know you're a grandpa now? Oh, I wonder... <laughs> I wonder if Rasemeyer's eyes are going to be the that sort of two color because Eric's is like that too, right? Um, let's see, what's on your mind? Uh, I might be old, but I'm not dead yet, kid. I could still teach you a lesson or two about being a man. Damn my back! Oh, <laughs> I think that might be. I don't know if I've heard that one before from him. Have a good day. You too. Um, so yeah. Uh, by the way. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, uh, you could, you'll have to imagine that we just had a nice long conversation about, uh, the next generation and all that sort of stuff and how I named my, uh, my boy after him, uh, so to speak. So, all right, well, let's leave the orchard to its business. I think we're fine. Um, man, I'm glad that we, uh, we chose to ride out to the orchard because then we caught Manomir before, although he may end up going all the way. Uh, I don't know if he's going to, I don't know if the game is going to reevaluate Manamir's task until he gets to the destination. I'm not seeing him on the way. I, I ran, did you see how I ran the risk? I ran the risk of, uh, going over the bridge and getting knocked off my horse. Here, Okay. It'll give you a little bit of a break. Oh, I need to go and get some food as well. We need supplies. Yeah, I think Manamir turned around. I'm pretty sure. Actually, there is one way we could do this. What we could do is if we go into management, you can always find out where your people are uh, by going down in here and then highlighting them. And you could see that he's literally back at the at the orchard. So he's fine. He's he he made it back. He's doing his apprentice work with Ostrobod. <clears throat> Ostrobod's a, Ostrobod's a, oh, look at them, look at this guy. <laughs> Either that or they were playing airplane. <laughs> um, now, we have, oh my goodness, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of chaotic, actually. There's so much, oh, and we wanted to look at our, our new wall. Yeah, we have to check that out. Um, well, this is, this is really cool. Also, there is something that I would like to do. Uh, now this is no we want to go to here um, I would like to do a bit of farming because um, Eric does need to hone his farm skills uh, so let's get some some supplies first 
How's the milk and sour milk? Oh, we've got tons of sour milk and milk. Oh, that's what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. I don't have a problem with it. Now, we want uh, soup. Let's see what kind of soups we have. We have some really low-grade soups, but we can grab these uh, 37 percenters. Um, there we go. That's probably good enough. In fact, I could probably eat one right now. We'll pick one of the ones that are kind of sitting all by its lonesome, lonesome like this one. There we go. Oh, and the, um, the, uh, if, if you remember correctly, I did have, here, let's put away some stuff. Here, I'll be right back. I was noting that I was at 30 kilograms. Uh, that was because some, as someone pointed out, your hammer broke. So you only had one hammer. Uh, that makes, that's, yeah, I, I hadn't even thought of that. So that's a good point. Um, okay. And then for food... Uh, we got the rot, rot stored in. Oh, it's in food storage. Oh man, I keep forgetting that. Uh, we have a water skin filled with water. Uh, okay, well, let's go put the rot in the food storage. That still doesn't feel right, you know? Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back again. Okay, you know what? Let's just not worry about it. Uh, there we go. Okay, and we're gonna go back to resource storage one more time. And we're gonna get ourselves a, a, a scythe, and then we're gonna we're gonna harvest some flax, because uh, it's it's very exciting. We we had our uh, this is like our our uh, you know Eric's first flax uh, harvest, <laughs> which is something to celebrate, because flax is where all the money comes from. Okay, Starling, let's go uh, let's go down here. And I think what we could do is maybe we could put you in with the uh, at the um, at the tavern, and you could hang out here. Because who doesn't like hanging out at the tavern? There we go. And you could just talk to Strogomir here. And there's uh, Sobobor doing his uh, finest work. And let's take a look one more time at our little uh, thing here. I think this is pretty good. What I might end up doing is reworking some of these. There's how this works and why I couldn't put the fence further in here and further in here is because this is road or path that I put all around it or where I could really. I couldn't put it everywhere. And you can't put fencing on path. And in fact, we could take a look at it if we pull up the hammer and then we go to destroy. And you could see these are, you know, there's... There's a path right here, and another path right here, and another path right here. So if we got rid of, maybe if we shortened up that part, and we could get rid of maybe this piece right here, we might be able to extend this one out to there, and this one could extend out to here. And then you'd have a more confined entrance to the, uh, to the thing. So, all right. But that's beside the point. We got, uh, we got harvesting to do. And I don't think they're going to get to this bottom field anytime soon. Because it, it's this is kind of like one of the... For, for that farm shed over there, this is kind of like the furthest point. So if we were to start working on this, I think we're going to be not interfering with anybody. Um, all right, so, seven. Aha! Now we have to be careful. You know, I should probably build a fence along here as well. You know, we should do that. But that's the... Uh, yeah, you got to be careful because the, the scythe will hurt animals. It'll hurt kids. Um, yeah, it's bad news. It, <laughs> the animals are saying, please don't kill us with your scythe. It's terrifying. <laughs> do, do, do. Now, while we're doing this, so let's sort of think... This is a good opportunity to think about things and you know what 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 the plan is and where we are uh let's see if we can go like that okay no all right how about that ah there we go if you if you do if you position yourself correctly you can take out a fair amount in one swoop uh, i'm not very good at it there's people that are much better at it than me but uh you know and there we go. We've got 145, 150, 155. 100 and, wow, we're doing really good with our flax. 
And there we go. Okay, so the plan. What is, uh, what do we got to do? We have somebody in the village that has um, a quest. So I haven't forgotten that. I did still want to take a look and see what that quest was. Because once again, much like farming, Eric does need to hone his diplomacy skill. And um, you do get a bit of diplomacy skill from... Oh, that's up there. Oh, they're using a sickle. You know, you guys, there's scythes in the uh, in the thing. You're free to use them. You don't have to use a sickle. Are we missing any? No, I think we're doing a pretty good job here. How about you? Bomb. And there we go. Now. And then if we were to go like here and we go like that. Okay, that was not as impressive. That was that was indeed. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to try. All right. <clears throat> so. We have, a, we have a quest that we could take a look at. The other thing we could do is I do want to continue the work with stone walls. It's something that has been on the list for quite a while. Uh, putting in like the stone walls, the more decorative aspects of the village. And, uh, you know, I think, I think that, you know, it looks pretty cool. And I think we should do that. And so maybe I should do the bottom down there. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll have to... But I also wanted to do the stone wall that went up that road there. Oh, is this it? Did we? Wow, this is like all the, the we're almost done all the new fields. 443, 447, nice, 453. And there we go. We got 456 uh, flax out of these three fields. I think if I remember correctly, this was 60. Uh, 60 uh, units uh, of, of the field, right? So that's pretty cool. That's impressive. Now we could probably go over and I don't know if there's a difference. Uh, I can't remember if there's a difference between how much I harvest and how much... If, if I did all the flax harvesting versus my people did it, um, I think I might harvest more, but it depends on the bonuses that uh that i have i don't know if i've chosen a lot of those bonuses uh, we could take a look actually management and then we no skills and then we go into farming oh there and then i think it's something like uh farming master no that's for stamina careful farmer durability loss skilled farmer ah yeah see i didn't do it because i wanted to get up into the carrot and stick and knight rider that's uh, Knight Rider is uh, faster riding, so stuff like that. But Skilled Farmer, um, so if I were to have the, a point in Skilled Farmer, then I could have gotten more than that 400 and some odd out of that harvest. So, you know what? It's okay. We're not hurting for money. Uh, I'm not worried. Gotta, we do have to be mindful, though, because uh, of our surroundings. Like I said, we can hurt people with this. Apparently, like uh, people have lost ducklings and stuff like that, little chickens and stuff in the in the in the fields, because there's like a duck, a little duckling in there, and then they the scythe kills them. And it's like, oh man, man, I'd feel terrible. <laughs> I would feel awful. Poor little guy. Oh, what was that? Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> I almost injured him. I should be I, I should be paying better, more attention to my surroundings. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, that's all the flax um, harvested, and that well, I think they've done some here. Put away the the scythe. Let's go put away stuff and take a look and see what we've got. I think are we almost done the first day? Well, it's getting into late afternoon. Okay, now, <clears throat> 636 flax, very cool, and then we have a total, currently, at if, uh, uh, 900 and, oh, wow, 994. So we did really well. We, we've um, almost, uh, well, I think that this flax stock was because of, uh, from this season, so we did break 1,000 flax. Um, so that's, that's actually really, uh, I think that's actually really good. So we're, we're in good shape. I'm going to put the scythe away and back into storage. Is there anything else I should be putting away? No, I think I'm good. 
got a water skin. Oh, is that the one we found on the side of the road? Yeah, we can put that away. And what else do I have? Oh, that's the other thing. Right. So uh, we do get uh, some good income from the marketplace. So this is uh, eight and, almost 8,500 coin. Uh, there we go. We're up to 240,904. So it's steadily going up. We're not losing money by any means. We're, we're going up in general. Okay, now let's see who who had a quest for me. Let's go get that done. Well, while the day is young and while the season is young, that's actually more what I'm thinking. Oh, 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 oh. Well, excuse me. Look at the, look at the goose. <laughs> Out of my way. Important goose business that must be attended to. Is it a child? It must be a child. Hang on. I'm guessing that there's a child that wants, uh, that has a quest. Sedrog. Oh, I, you know what? He probably wants a spear or something. <laughs> we got to go and say hi to the little one. Good day, mister. Hello, can I help you with something? Uh, mister, can I ask you something? What is it, child? I wanted to play pretend to be an adult, but I don't have the required items, and my parents won't give them to me. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I thought maybe you could help me. I can't give you anything, but I'll ask my friends to spread the good word about you. This is what we need. We need the, the publicity and the, the reputation uh, and also diplomacy skill. Uh, I'll bring you what you want, but you have to promise me, don't poke your eye out. <laughs> they want a stone knife? Oh. Well, it just so happens that I did find one along the side of the road. Now, what? what's the... I, I, let me check to make sure that it isn't... It's at 92%. It's not bad. It's in good shape. You know what? Let's, here, I think he'll be fine with that. It, 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 it's slightly dull, so he's, it's the, there's less chance that he's going to poke his eye out with it. <laughs> Hello, mister, you're back. Yes, but remember what I said. First, you must promise me to watch what out and don't do anything dangerous. Don't poke your eye out. Yes, yes, I promise. Can I start playing with it now? Exactly how do you play with a knife... Son, boy, <laughs> here you go. Take care. Remember what you said about your friends. Um, <clears throat> we we we're not even gonna we're not gonna think about what the what playing with that. Okay, you know what? I'm not even whittling. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna go and whittle. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. We, and of course, we can't see eyes yet. But when they're a little older, we'll, we'll probably be... Uh, I'm going to go out and take care of more business. All right, I'll be back. Oh, she's doing the brrr thing. Ooh. Hang on. Oh, she stopped. Okay, now we, we got the rattle. Okay. There's the brrr thing. They, they, they do this brrr thing. All right, can we see eye colors? Hi, Gandalf. How you doing? Yes, we can. We can see eye color. Look at that, see? Oh, okay. So when... What have you got there? Oh! <laughs> nice. That's so cool. I think I might have given that to him, actually. I'm, I'm At some point in the past. I carry a small supply of uh, little carved animals. You know what we should do? Uh, my supply of carved animals is getting rather low. And I haven't been out there for ages. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not sure what it... I wasn't sure what he was doing. Um, Starling, let's go out on a little uh, road trip. Let's go and talk to Mr. Grumpy Pants. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We didn't run him over. Uh, and I think we want to go this way. Do, do, and hopefully we can get out there before it's too late. Should we go this way? Let's put a marker down. Um, generally, what we want to do is go out here. So we want to turn left. Well, we want to go straight at Borovo and then turn. Okay. Oh, there's a kitty. Do, 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 do. I should have gotten a drink. Okay, hang on. Lunch time or dinner time. Hang on a minute. Um, 
We've got soup. That'll help with the fluids as well. There we go. It's not perfect, but it'll do. All right, we want to go this way. I mean, I'll admit it's kind of like uh, maybe an excuse to see if there's any bandits out and about. But I don't have high hopes for finding bandits. Uh, but I do want to stock up on my um, uh, carved figurine supply. Some of them are down to one, and uh, that is not acceptable. So let's go out and talk to the jerk. Are those wolves? There's, oh no, those are kitties. Okay. And then once we're here, we want to turn right. Now there is a wolf pack out at this guy's thing. It's over that way. And sometimes you can get attacked when you're at his little house. So I'm going to... Oh, he's in, is he inside? He's... I think he's inside. All right. He's... It sounds like he's doing housework. Yo! Now... <clears throat> Sambor is, um... Let's just say he's, he's a very elegant man. He's very... He speaks well. He's very loquacious. Loquacious. He's... He is... His, uh... He waxes uh, on uh, with great stories and uh, using flowery words. So I wanted to just prepare you for, for our conversation with Sambor here. Mm. They, they, you see what I mean? It, it's amazing. <laughs> Show me your wares. Mm. Wow, he's got a lot of them. Okay, why don't we grab um, something like 10 of each? Now, they're not, you know, horribly expensive, but... I don't mind giving him money. Uh, it's okay. It's, uh, he, he, he's out here. He's following his passion of being a little bird and a little, uh, little deer carver and all that sort of stuff. And I don't mind encur encouraging and supporting his efforts. Um, we are giving him a fair amount of cash, but that's all right. Uh, each, each set of 10, oh my goodness, is 450. So, uh, it's a few thousand coin. It's not exactly a problem. Not for us. All right, farewell. There you go. <laughs> nice talking to you as well, Sambor. All right. Now, we're going to we're going to run the gauntlet past the uh past the the, the wolves. Because it'll be kind of fun. And uh but yeah, there's uh if you come right through here out of Sambor's thing, these wolves are always here. Somewhere through here. Maybe right here. No. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, apparently they, uh, they they didn't notice us. That's fine. I can dig that. Okay. But I was really, what I was hoping for was, as I say, to find some bandits. And also pick up some carved animals. We've got little ones. More little ones on the way. And, you know, you, you have to have a supply. Um, what do we go through Gustovia? Is there any... Uh... No. Now this... Yeah, this is... This this um, this cart is like... Uh, it's actually always here. There's a there's actually a bundle. The, uh, the cart with the boards. The boards are always here. But this small bundle, I think that's... Oh, there's a cabbage. Oh, wow. Okay. Nope. Um... Oh, that's the same bundle. You know, it's funny because there used to be, once in a past life, a man. A man who lived here, in this very spot. And he had a small town right here. And in this small town was a man that ate a lot of cabbage. <laughs> so I wonder if that's a little, uh, if, if there's people that come here and remember him fondly. And they leave him little bundles of cabbage. Uh, as a memorial of days gone past. The village is now gone, but the, the cabbage remains. <laughs> Something like that. I don't really have a better one. <laughs> All right, let's go, to, let's go home. And uh, we'll actually, we'll cruise through Gustovia here and see if there's anything interesting. Hello, everyone. Just racing through your town like a yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go. Yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting on, on our little uh, road trip. No, no bandits or. Uh, oh well, that's fine. We got we got out of the village for a little bit. Uh, now we of course we have to be home uh, overnight because you know we got the little one. We have to help out. Um, uh, let's put let's put um, Starling away. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, Starling. Do you have anything in your inventory? No, you're good. And. Is, uh, are you being cared for? What? Oh, I know where you are. <laughs> are you being cared for? Yes, you've got plenty of food. Excellent. Uh, we still have the, the trees have not been harvested yet. It's only been one day. Um, we still have some cabbages that need to be har harvested and all that other business. But, um, okay. Let us, uh, oh, 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 oh. Did you see that? Somebody transported the across the... It was a, that was very um, sudden. Somebody went. <laughs> the game was fixing where their location was. All right, have a drink. And let's uh, let's go home now. How's my filth level? Eleven percent. Yeah, let's not go for maximum filth. Um, we've got a newborn in the house, and uh, perhaps that would not be uh, not be appreciated. Um, we don't want to give my uh, my wife any extra work. You know, that's that that would be, uh, you know, that would be very, very rude. We we're supposed to be helping, not hindering. Okay. There we go. Oh. Keeping watch. Apparently, we have a guard outside the door. And, and she's gone to bed. Oh, she's, you know what is really cool? Because she's not working, she's wearing her fancy outfit. I, I really like that outfit. What is that? Hello, Astrid. How you doing? Okay. I think she lives right... Does she live right here? No, that's Georgiana. Astrid, Gustava. She, I think she lives in one of these. Alice? Empty? Oh, wait a minute. Astrid, she has this house. That explains why she cuts through there. All right, now... <clears throat> um... Hopefully, at some point, my boy will be here. He's got a little bear, right? But we need to add something to the... We need to add something to this, to this to the little thing. And, um... Let's put a little rabbit. Yeah. All right. We have to put the little rabbit right here. And the rabbit... The rabbit needs to talk to the bear. So they should have a little conference. Because everybody knows that the bears and the rabbits have an alliance, right? And that the rabbits, the rabbits are the snitches of the wild world, of the, of the, of the wilderness. Um, anybody that plays subsistence knows about this. So this is the rabbit informing the bear of, uh, of, of the goings on with the hunters. So that's what they're in conference right now. Uh, do they, we don't have chickens, do we? <laughs> we have, uh, it's not a chicken, but we got a little wooden bird. We can we can imagine that the chickens would be in there. They're not far. They're also part of the the the, uh, the alliance. All right, let's go to sleep. That's that's if unless you watch my subsistence, you won't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go to bed. <laughs> oh oh oh. Okay. We oh did you see that we slept in the same bed? Oh, I've been promoted <laughs> for the longest time. I've been waking up. Oh. She's doing the boodle thing. <laughs> now I don't. I, I am just checking to see if there's anything that she that she needs. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Husband Man, um, what's on your mind? I'm bored. Maybe we could do something stupid together. How how does starting a cult sound? Yeah, you know we could we could think about that. How about we how about we um. Uh, we, we, uh, get together a little bit later in the evening after the little one's gone to bed and we can drop some plants. I think that's a great idea. All right. Be well, my love. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> I like the way she thinks. <laughs> oh, look. You guys, 
Hey, yeah, Did you, you heard? You heard all the news? You can, there's a little baby in there. Yeah, that's right. They look, they look thrilled. Okay, so um, let's um, proceed on with the, uh, the plan now. We could put a, f a little bit of a stone fence along here. Uh, what I would do is I would continue it on from this point and then go across there. The other choice we have, um, and like I said, I'd like to start every once in a while putting these little sections of fence down just to, uh, you know, keep things moving, keep up with stuff. Um, maybe what we could do is work on it. Let's, let's see if we can make this a little bit better over here and get rid of that one and that one and that one. There we go. And it doesn't really do too much. And then what we do is we'll take, uh, uh, let's see, um, Q and then roads. No, not, not that. No, no, no. Q and then, um, fences. And then we go to the stone fence and then we can maybe come up to here. Oh, we can get right in there. Oh yeah, this is good. And then we could have this come along maybe at about right here. like that and then over here we could have it come from here let's see no 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 what am I doing Q fence stone there we go let's see if we can get that right in there okay and then maybe up to about there what do you think? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> I think that'll do. Yeah, this... I, I was a little worried about this little bend, but that, that does end up pointing right there. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go to... Uh, no, this... Then we go to build. And let's go and grab some stone. How much do we need? Uh, one, two, three... Twenty-four. Okay. Let's go grab twenty-four stone. And uh, finish that up. Yeah, I wanted to tighten that up a little bit. Um, make that wall seem a little bit more uh, substantial. You know what we could do is we could grab grab as much... Wait a minute. What have I got on me? I've got a wooden bowl. Oh, I've got all those little toys. <laughs> they weigh something, you know. Ah, it's a small price to pay. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right. So um, I can carry up to just over 40 stones, 40 kilograms of stones. So that's, I think they're one, one kilogram each. I should be sorting. There we go. Or filtering. Uh, let's go down to stone and we'll grab something like 60 maybe. And then we'll do, uh, or 70, 64. Sure. Whatever. That's fine. That's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work out. Just, that'll be about just right. And then we'll uh, maybe do a bit more stone work. Now, what we want to be careful of is that we don't um, cause issues, make it so that it's difficult for the for the villagers to get through the to to navigate through the village. I don't. I th if we leave nice little openings like that, I think we're fine. Oh, it's Astrid again. Hi, Astrid. How you doing? And Punka. Okay, and then we got this one. Do do do. And that's the join. It's not too bad. This one I think was better. I don't even. Yeah, you can't even really tell. Oh, it's right here. There it is, right there. All right, so that's not too bad. I like that. There we go. We've we've uh, balanced this side with a bit on this side. Okay, this is kind of cool. All right, and then what we want to do is uh, I think we want to go up here. And we want to go up through here. So let's um let's do it. Let's put a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. So let's go fence, stone fence, and then we want to go maybe to about. Let's see how close we can get. Right in there, like that. Then we want to come up, and we want to. There is a bit of a. We have to follow. Oh, can we not? Oh. Oh. I 
hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me take a look at uh, paths. No. Let me look at... Uh, are you thirsty? No, that's not what that is. Um, let's go to destroy. I think that that's... I think it's because this came out and I think it's the path. I think what we need to do is start a little bit in a bit. Okay. All right. Let's go back here and then go like this and then go into fences. And I think what we need to do is come in a little bit like that. And it should look all right. And that'll give us a bit more to work with. Yep. I, okay. That's much better. And then we can come all the way up to... Up here. Like this. Oh! They're picking cabbages. <laughs> nice. And then we can come over here. Oh! What is blocking... What is the obstacle? Oh... I know what it is. Okay, let's see if we can come up to here, like this, and then, yeah, we can do it. Okay, it's the, um, the, this plot. There's a, there's a plot here, and it does cause a problem. All right, but we're going to just, uh, we're, we'll work with it, and then if we go like that, and then we come up. Now, we don't want to go too far. We need to give people access. See, this is a pretty big stretch, right? Um, and what we could do, actually, is take this one out. Like that. And then that gives us a... a there, there we go. I think that's probably fine. And then we've got a little bit of a stretch here. Right? This is a problem. And what we might need to do is put our next break right there. Alright, so let's go like this. And then we can go back to the fences. And then we can go to here. And we can come right there and then come up to the, we're not going to be able to do anything with this so let's go up to about here like that and then continue on on the other side of the tree and we'll make it like that's a natural break so that people can uh, can get through here and then we'll, we'll just uh, so we'll take advantage of that let's see let's go right there there. And there you go. There's a nice little gap for getting in and out of the fields. Oh, is this going to be more? Is this going to be a problem again? I think it is. Okay, well, we could start a little bit later. How about we start right here? And then, yeah, we can then work with it a little bit better. Um, oh, wow. What is... Okay. Hang on a minute. Let's go this way. Oh, okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. In fact, we could go all the way up to like that. Like that. And then continue up. <clears throat> kind of, you know, I, I think we're, yeah, we're going to just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just go with the floor. Let's just keep going with the flow. And then up to here. Because it does curve around this way. So this is actually a good point that we can follow the, the curve of the road. Like this. And then come up. Oh! <laughs> He's like, hey, um, you're doing donkey's work, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to get in trouble with the donkey union again. We don't want that. They, the, the donkey union is extremely powerful. Uh, and they can cause you all kinds of problems. But uh, By the way, I'm not going to make it contiguous like this. Um, I'm, I'm essentially going to, to just break out chunks. All right. I think this is good right here. Like that. And then we've got a little bit of an area here. We've got the st the stable, and we can get over through to the fields over here. I think this is a nice little place. All right, so. Um, let's see. Where do we want to put a break? So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We put a break here, right? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put another break here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four. It's not perfect, uh, but we didn't, we couldn't do anything about that. This is this is what I was working around. But these little periodic gaps, I think you know you have to be able to allow the people to get in there for doing their stuff, right? And uh, I think we can probably start working on that. Now, I am not a hundred percent happy with. Um, this little, this gap right here, this, the way that this is handled. In fact, what I might do is break that and then maybe we could put in, um, here, let's go back to create and then, oh no, uh, Q fence, stone fence. And let's see if we can just, we could go right across here because, or we could just make that the opening. You know what? I like that. It's a bit, bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's see if we can live with that. Um, what? There was a red message. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see what it was. All right, building, building, building. Okay, this is going to be. Uh, we're going to get a bit of uh, the builder's trance, hopefully. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Do do. Do. And we're getting a bit of building experience, which is kind of good. Do, do, do. And, boom, and, okay, we're going to need, uh, yeah, we're going to need more stone. All right, let's go get more stone. Fortunately, it's right here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. All right. Nope. I can't. I can't. We're going to get in trouble. No, no. Put the axe away. You're not, then you'll be in really big trouble. <laughs> Hello, donkey. <laughs> donkey who is not named. Yes. Onyx and oh, you know what? If I didn't pick Sapphire, I think there'd be a. I think the donkeys would revolt. Uh, Sapphire has uh, seniority. All right, Sapphire. Let's go and uh, take care of some business. There's important donkey business to to be done here. Do do. Okay. And what have we got? Now, actually, you know what? Here, I'm going to hop off. And the donkeys have a really high carry capacity. So, yeah, look at that. 95. So, 95 stones. So, she can carry 95 stones. Uh, oh, my goodness. There we go. 97? No. 95. Come on. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So you at capacity now. Okay, am I... What am I... Oh, I've got a cabbage! You know what I should do? In memory of that long-lost ancestor of the past, although I do seem to remember that Rasimir was eating cabbage too, um... There we go. We've eaten. We've consumed. Oh, they changed the the cabbage consumption sound. That's actually kind of cool. And we'll we'll follow that up with a bit of soup. And uh, there we go. And then we can uh, put away the, the bowl because we got an extra bowl here. Um. Yeah, I'm still not giving up figurines. I might put them back at the house though. We might put away some of. Them. Is there anything I'm carrying that's unnecessary? I mean, many would argue yes, but I am not. All right. <clears throat> we have 38, so we can carry another, what, 50 kilograms or so of of, uh, of, uh, of stone-ish. So why don't we just do, I don't know, carry something like 68, sure. All right. <sighs> Sapphire. <laughs> now, Sapphire, the donkeys don't care. They don't mind. They're like, oh, yeah, this is good work. We're doing good works here. Let's put you up here. And then I'll come back down over here. I'll be there in a minute. I'll be there in a minute. I'm just going to... Nope. Yep. Do -do 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 -do. Get our building uh, trance back. 
level two. There we go. Um, can Eric do level three? I don't think he can, can he? No, he can't. He's only a, he, he can only do level, he can only do a bit of the Builder's Trance. But hopefully, uh, building a fence will uh, give him some more skill. There we go. And then next. All right. Do, 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 do. So how's it going, Sapphire? How are things? Is the Donkey Union, is it all, are you guys all happy? Are your needs being met? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> it's that. Oh, well, you're tired, are you? Oh, okay. We'll have a little break. Get your stamina back. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm out of stone. Hey! That it that's right. It is time for the donkeys to step in and shine. Uh, here we go. And we'll just grab what half, I guess, of what, what you've got. Because I'm not as strong as a donkey. There we go. Do, 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 do. How's that starting to look? Oh, not bad. Not bad, not bad. And got you. Do, 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 do. And then we've got you. All right, well, I think what I might do... Uh, this is not very exciting, so I'm going to finish off what I with with um, basically finish off this uh, this wall. Um, I think we're at a good point where we can stop. <clears throat> it's really it's it's just a lot of hitting things with a hammer. <laughs> it's not that uh, here. Let's um, let's keep our builders trance up though. And boom, boom, boom. there we go. All right, so I think we did pretty well. In the next one, um, I'm gonna have to figure out what uh, what else we need to do. We've got some other things. I'm probably not gonna do more fence building, just because I want to mix things up a little bit. Um, but we do need to think about like staffing going forward. We've got new adults are gonna be coming in. We may want to build up at the orchard, expand some of the stuff that goes on there. Um, that kind of thing. We need to think about the future and keep growing. So I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Let me put away the hammer so that uh, Sapphire doesn't get... Although Sapphire is pretty solid. Aren't you, Sapphire? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. You going to say anything, Sapphire? Is this... No? Okay. All right. Bye-bye. No, okay.